Hey everybody, it's Tipsy Shaker again. Uh, it is five o'clock on a Saturday, if you know that song. And we are going to make a martini because martinis are rad and kind of like super spy cool and the drink that you probably think is just vodka or just gin and it's not. And so we'll show you how to make that. And then I'll do the little question of what to do with your weird booze for the quarantine stuff. How's everybody holding up? I'm doing good. It's only like day 5,000 for me, so I'm doing better than some of you. Um, this, by the way, is Tipsy Shaker, the whole reason I call myself Tipsy Shaker. Uh, I got this old copper shaker from my parents a long time ago, and it's really wobbly, um, so as you can see. Um, so I love this. If you have a shaker, that's a really good thing to have for a martini. If you don't, again, you can do everything in a cup. Um, you can, you'll have to stir it and you'll not be able to shake it, which is against James Bond rules, but that's okay because it's your drink. So you do it how you want. So we start with vermouth. You might have this sitting around somewhere and you're like, what the hell is that? And it's for martinis. Uh, this is an extra dry Martini Rossi vermouth. This is perfect for if you want to do vodka or gin martinis. Um, there's a sweet one. Do not use sweet vermouth in this. You will not be happy. It's actually sweet uh, and tasty in other drinks, not in this. Uh, and of course, I'm going to do vodka. You can do gin. Gin is the classic. Vodka is the drinkable. Uh, we also have two options here for a classic martini. Of course, olives. And you can add juice for dirty. Dirty martini is the easier thing for people to order when you haven't had a martini before. Or lemon, which I'm going to do today. And I cut a strip, as you can see, so that uh, I can do a little lemon curl because those are really refreshing. So here we go. First thing, martini glass. You can do like a small non-stemmed little glass too. You don't have to do this, but it's way prettier, way cooler. So if you have these, take some ice. You're going to chill your glass. It's very important. So that's step one. You put the ice in the glass. You're going to chill it. And the way you make the ice chill it, you take your vermouth. You just kind of drizzle some vermouth in there on the ice. And you're going to swirl it a little. That's called painting the glass. And so you can sound like a snooty, pretentious asshole if you want to do it for friends. That's called painting the glass. So let's set this aside, let it chill. In your shaker or cup, ice. It's about halfway full. Martinis, since it's just, just booze, there's no mixer, I tend to pour heavy. It's not a shot, it's to fill the glass. So on this, honestly, you can just kind of make the vodka go to the ice line. So if you're half full, fill it half full with vodka. It feels like a lot, because it is a lot. Okay, now at this point, because this is really an easy drink, you're, you're almost done. You've got your booze in here, right? And it's cold. At this point, you can add olive juice, which would make it a dirty martini. And it's really tasty, kind of salty, and if you like olives, do it. Um, I love them. You don't want to add a ton of olive juice because it will taste like the Atlantic Ocean. And I've had bartenders make them that way, and it's gross, so try not to do that. But again, some people actually like that. So if you like it, do it. It's your drink. Let's do, since I'm doing a lemon one, I'm going to cut some lemon here. 
I'm actually going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in, which you don't have to. But it makes it a little fresher. Now, vermouth again. One little glug. That's a dry martini. Two little glugs. I'm going to do one and a half. Is medium. And if you do like a little bit more, it's going to be called a wet martini. Vermouth is what makes a martini wet or dry. I hope I'm saying that right because that's how I was taught. So if it's wrong, feel free to correct me, which is so rare on the internet, but go ahead. Um, but yeah, so if you do a lot of vermouth, it's a wet martini, and that means it's not going to be as harsh. You know, vodka can burn a little, so it takes the burn away. So if you don't like a lot of booze, do a little bit more vermouth. Shake. Make it look cool. Okay. Remember your little, your little chilling glass? Swirl it. You're going to dump all of that into the sink. So I happen to have a bowl here, but swirl. <coughs> dump. So you have a painted glass that's cold and take your martini. See how you split it like that? It's like you're, it's almost like you're cracking an egg kind of thing. That's how you pour it out of those. You're going to pour it into your glass. Always lift up because it looks cool. It doesn't actually do anything. It just looks really cool. Okay. Now we have a martini. It looks pretty. And so I cut a little strip of lemon, right? This is called a twist. You just curl it, you just turn it like you're twisting it, you know? Twist. It releases those little oils in the skin, which actually makes the martini taste really good. And you plop it in. And it looks super classy. So you can feel you can feel special, even though you can't go out for dinner tonight. You can you can sit on your back patio with a martini and laugh at the world. So that's a martini. Um, and it's if you know how to make a martini, you are always cool at a party. Always. So learn it. Love it. Um, Questions on booze. So I'm going to do two because one of them was my friend Chrissy, who is lovely and lovely to drink with, I might add, and a wonderful singer, by the way. She has rum chata. And I was thinking about, because I made a shot once with rum chata, and I did rum chata, fireball, which I bet all of you have fireball sitting around. I don't know why everybody loves fireball, but you do. So you know you have it in your house. So if you have it, mix half and half rum chata and fireball, and it's it's good. I think it tastes kind of like pumpkin pie. It's holiday. So if you like that, fine. She said she doesn't. So I was trying to think of what to do. And the one thing I thought of was you should boil, or boil, you should brew a pot of coffee and put it like in a container in the fridge and let it chill. The next day you have iced coffee. And I think you should add your rum chata to your iced coffee and you would really enjoy it. Like don't discount coffee drinks. Coffee drinks are awesome with all booze. So uh, like hot, hot coffee releases all that alcohol. So you get kind of tipsy on them. But iced coffee is really nice to mix like Bailey's, uh, Kahlua, any of those things. And it makes a nice refreshing drink and you know this is one of those rare times when you could probably put booze in your coffee in the morning so I recommend uh, so the other one let's see here's our picture of the day and they never show okay there it is that's from my friend Stephanie and Stephanie has a cool assortment of Malibu rum which is coconut pineapple rum Crown Royal, I think that's Crown Apple, now that I look at it. Well, okay. Uh, Jim Beam, 
which I, I love Jim Beam and Coke. So, and you have Coke there. So just drink a Jim Beam and Coke and then everything else will taste good. Uh, and then you also have sour apple puckers. So if you have cranberry juice, then what you should do is pour over ice, the crown royal apple, the apple pucker, you like apple, <laughs> and cranberry juice. And you can shake that. Uh, it's better if it's mixed. Uh, and it's basically a Washington apple, which is a shot you can order and they're popular and super tasty. It will give you a headache. <laughs> it's very sugary, but uh, it's, it's like super tasty. So I recommend that. Uh, I also was thinking about if you did the whiskey with the pineapple rum and soda water, that might be tasty because that pineapple rum is super sugary. Um, and that would give it, I think that would be cool actually. So try it and let me know because I've never tried the pineapple Malibu. But uh, those are my suggestions for today. It's the weekend. It doesn't feel like the weekend because every day feels like the weekend. But um, you can make it feel a little more weekendy if you do a nice fancy drink for yourself and relax. Put your feet up. Give yourself a break for today. So uh, good luck with quarantining and I'll see you tomorrow with more fun stuff to do with your rando booze. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.